Microsoft OneNote Class Notebook is an excellent free application for educational Microsoft 365 accounts. Class Notebooks help you to organize your lessons or course content for specific classes. It acts as a digital notebook, and if you have set up the Class Notebook on Microsoft Teams, you will have linked your class so you can use the features available in Teams to allow you to set assignments in the Class Notebook and much more. If you need a guide to help set up your class notebook quickly, please click on the suggested video at the top of the screen. I have opened my class notebook within Teams. If the class notebook appears too small, you can click on the expand arrows at the top of the screen. You will see that the class notebook has expanded, so you can see more of the notebook whilst you work within Teams. There are two more options for viewing your class notebook. You can open it in a web browser version, or you can open the desktop app. Both of these options can be found here. Both of these options will allow you to use the class notebook, and everything you do inside it will be automatically saved. I prefer my classes to work within Teams where possible, as they can then use the features such as accessing assignments and their calendar quickly. When you open your class notebook, you will land on the welcome page within the welcome section. To see where these are, click on the right pointing arrow at the top of the screen. You now see all the sections in the class notebook. You have a welcome section, a collaboration space, and a content library. Under the Content Library section, you will find all the students' class notebooks. If we look at the Welcome section, you will notice there is another panel to its right. This panel is where you can add pages to the different sections. Let's add a page in, which will display my contact information for the students. To do this, Click on the Add button at the bottom of this page panel. This will add a new page into the Welcome section. You can give the page a title if you click here. I can now add in the information to the page. If you really want, you can even make this page become a sub-page by right-clicking on it and selecting Make Sub-Page. Since all of my students will see the Welcome section and its pages and sub-pages, they can access these pages at any time. If you have found this video helpful, Please give it a like, subscribe to the Teach Me channel and click on the notification bell so you know when more useful videos are released to help enhance your teaching and learning.